ったアロイドを。はい、了解。
Law and Legislative Affairs, Manipur. Sri Sri T H Basanta Marshi, who is present, yes, who is present on this. Yes. Thank you, sir. Namaskar. Thank you. And now I invite Mr. Hini Afrai Mao, advisor of SGBA, to felicitate Honorable Sri Justice A. Bimo Singh, Judge High Court of Manipur. I now invite Mr. S. Kokolo, advisor of SDBA, to kindly felicitate Honorable Sri Justice A. Guneshwar Sarma, Judge High Court of Manipur. I now invite Sri Maji Kusha Mao, Public Prosecutor of the Sri Accession Court, Sinapati, to felicitate Honorable Sri Justice Golmai Kapujilu, Kabui Judge, High Court of Manipur. Thank you, Madam. I also invite Sri Mati Rachel, Assistant Secretary of SCBA, to felicitate Honorable Sri Losadiko, MLA 48 Mao AC. Everyone, please give to them. I also invite Mrs. Sarita to felicitate Sri Mati Nushitongvi. No, uh, no, she can be a top one, Law Commissioner of Government of Manipur. I now invite Sri Mati Anjali Pradhan, Advocate of SDBA, to felicitate Sri Ojis Nutam, Register General RG, High Court of Manipur. Last but not least, I now invite Sri. Uh, I now invite Miss Lingthong to uh, to facilitate Sri Lamkola Lamkola the Sri Session Court in Abuja. Now I would like to proceed from the uh, Abuja District Administration. They would, like, uh, they, uh, they would like to give to Honorable Sri Justice Siddharth Mudra, Chief Justice High Court of Manipur. And now I uh, call upon Sri Honorable Sri Justice A. B. Singh, Judge High Court of Manipur, and Honorable Sri Justice A. Guneshwar Sarma, Judge High Court of Manipur, Honorable Sri Mati Justice Gurmai Kaipunjibu Kabui, Judge High Court of Manipur, Now, Sri Mati Noshin Kumbi, a Tokpam, Law Commissioner, Government of Manipur. Sorry. Uh, Sri Law Co Honorable Emily Mao AC. Sri Mati Noshin Kumbi, a Tokpam, Law Commissioner, Government of Manipur. Function as a pump of the 
for gathering here to present in this uh, inauguration functional design of support building. Next, and uh, lastly, on behalf of the department, I would like to send my heart to welcome to the dignitaries, invitees, and police personnel who have been providing uh, the security arrangement to all present here. Thank you, sir. My honor, Thank you, ma'am, for your kind, for your kind, heartfelt welcome and grace and your for your constant support. Now I humbly request Honorable Sri Lokser Deko, Emily Mao, for the APC to address the August gathering. This morning, I take this privilege to honor and welcome the Honorable Justice Siddhar Mirpur, Chief Justice Haikur Manipur, and my colleague, Honorable Minister, Mr. Basanta Kumar, Minister Go and legislative uh, affairs, Manipur. Hmm. Honorable Justice, Mr. Imol Singh. Honorable Justice, Mr. Ganeshwar Sarma. Honorable Mrs. Justice, Golmai Kapui. All the officials from the district and also from the state and uh, Commissioner Go, Madam, also the Chairman of the Rabana Village and Village Leaders, also the student leaders of Mao Students Union and also the Mao Women Society, all the advocates from the district and for the state, the officials from different departments. On behalf of my people here in Mao, I'm extremely happy to have this occasion and I want to congratulate the Law and Legislative Affairs Department, Government Manipur, under the leadership of our Honorable Chief Minister and Law Minister and also the Chief Justice of Manipur State and High Court. It is a privilege for my people to have such facilities here. Ten years ago we have been pursuing this institution we brought here and uh, we give our best to install the institution but due to certain reasons it has been delayed but I really want to express our gratefulness to the Chief Justice and his office to expedite this implementation of the call. Mao is the border state, border town of the state of Manipur and it is an important uh, township of the state. So having this court here is so important for the state and for the people of this area too. I am surprised to see this infrastructure coming in a very short time of duration. My house is just one kilometer from here. Though I'm not from this village, but uh, we're a cluster of villages settled here in this Mao area. And I want to congratulate the department as well as the contractors. When this project has been started launching, normally the political leaders, the political voters, they would always request for 
the implementation of the project to be handled by them. Many people approached to me, but I said nothing to me. Let us see the progress and support our best, because we want to have the facility. So today, when I see the progress, in no time, with the support of the Chief Justice and his team, the implementation was done very quickly and the progress was so amazing. Today only, I saw, of course, I saw the out, from the outside, the progress was there. But when I came inside today, and in fact, uh, I didn't know that this is going to be inaugurated uh, soon, but yesterday I was informed and by my honorable minister, my colleague, I was so happy and then I saw this infrastructure coming up so nicely. I want to congratulate all of you and I want to thank you on behalf of my people and on behalf of our state government too. This place, we have our ADC office here, which is the office. And I want personally, since it is my camera, it is in the middle of the area and we want to make this place a growth center. When we choose to construct the ADC office, as the office here, the villagers were approached and then they were so gladly and happily they have donated the land. And I also plan that uh, we should have a good uh, uh, playground here, nearby the SD office. And uh, I have constructed the one of the best playground in Mao area under my local MLA fund. Not only that, in order to have water, I put up water pump drill, underground drilling facility, and we found very good water uh, in the ground in this campus also. And uh, immediately now the port has uh, installed, we are so happy. And in order to facilitate the growth of the development here, I also tried to light up the road. But the whole street I cannot do because we have very limited resources. Somehow I light up from the SD office to the main road in order to facilitate this uh, upcoming uh, institution. So we also give our best support. And today, we have this uh, facility, we're so happy. And uh, having this kind of facility, I am still having some anxiety because uh, uh, seeing the infrastructure the set up in the, inside the room, I never expect that this kind of uh, system will be available, but today I'm surprised. And now I'm wondering, I have the anxiety that who will be the first person from this area to attend court here? I think they'll get nervous. That's what I was feeling. Because here, even in, in my people, my people here, traditionally we don't have the land bata and a lot of uh, disputes, a lot of problems, a lot of uh, cases are there, minor or uh, major. So we used to face a lot of uh, uh, legal problems. So today having these facilities, I think we are going to, it's going to be a very big uh, 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 improvement uh, development for our people. There was a story. Here the land boundary dispute is so common because we used to keep boundary stones. And they are most likely that people, when there is a dispute, some people can remove the boundary stone and then this will start happening. So this, this issue is frequently happened. So there is a story, there was a story that there was two dispute, dispute between two people. And unfortunately, one fellow removed the boundary stone. So disputes, disputes started, and then a lot of uh, argument, a lot of cases between two villages, village authorities, and uh, the surrounding villages they had. But it was so difficult to give the justification. So one gentleman, the other, other owner, who is slightly more honest, he know that uh, his neighbor has done something wrong. But since negotiation cannot uh, be settled, and nobody will be able to give the justice. So he, in front of the public, in front of the village court, he just stole that this uh, boundary stone. Why did you move from the place? So people settled the issue. Because they, nobody can give the judgment. Only the owner can give the judgment. And instead of that, he was shouting at the boundary stone, why you move from there? 
original place. So this is how they have settled, but it happens like that. But now, this kind of facility coming to here, it's a very big uh, uh, setup, and our people and the state will really benefit. And uh, I wish that our people here will give our best cooperation. So thank you so much. I on behalf of my people, once again, I would like to congratulate all of you and give our uh, thanks to every one of you. Thank you so much. God bless. joining us through VC and thank you so much sir for joining us through VC in spite of all your busy schedule. So I now hand over the time to our minister. Uh, good morning everyone. Uh, I hope you can hear me. Uh, I assume that you are hearing me and uh, uh, it's a privilege for me to be present on this occasion of the inauguration of the JMFC Port Building Model. First of all, at the outset, I would like to address uh, the dignitaries on the dais. Honorable Mr. Justice Sri Shidar Mridul, Chief Justice High Court of Manipur, Ikai Hungo Chiri, Kurunjari, Marastek Steel. Next, Honorable Mr. Justice A. B. Singh, Judge High Court of Manipur, Honorable Mr. Justice A. Bhuneshwar Sarma, Judge High Court of Manipur, Honorable Mrs. Justice Gormai Gaipur Shiru, Kabui, Judge High Court of Manipur. I pay my respects to all of you, thank you Mohuchiri. And next, I would like to pay my respects to my dear friend and elder brother who just moved just now, Sri Losi Diko. Honorable MLA Mauro Assembly constituency, uh, who is a very dynamic leader of the area and of the constituency, and not only of the constituency of uh, Manipur, he is a very able leader. I pay my respects to you, Ikai Kumaruchiri. Next, uh, Commissioner Law, Srimati Nukhuchi Dumbi Atulpam, who has been very proactive in making the arrangements for today's function. Next, I would like to pay my respects to Sri Ojesh Mutum, Registrar General, High Court of Manipur. And then I would like to pay my respects to all the officials who are also present at the High Court of uh, uh, Manipur, virtually. Mayapuna uh, Mohikai Kandavachari, the print and electronic media, and of course, the most important, the public of uh, uh, Mao, uh, you know, constituency and all the uh, people of the localities around the High Court, uh, the, the court which is being inaugurated today. I pay my respects to all of you, Guru Jai. Uh, actually, unfortunately, I could not be there personally because uh, today morning we had a fixed program to fix uh, uh, much earlier with the Honorable Chief Minister for signing of a memorandum of understanding with the party from outside the state. So I could not uh, avoid that. So I missed coming to Mao. I enjoy visiting Mao, by the way. Mao is a lovely place which is uh, situated uh, on the boundary of Manipur State. And more than that, uh, the personal equation I have with the Honorable MLA of the locality, Sri Biko, who is a wonderful host and uh, a very popular leader, uh, not only of Mao but of the entire state. So I miss being there uh, personally, but uh, uh, I'm glad that I can at least attend it virtually. I thank you for uh, you know uh, uh, tolerating my absence, so to say. 
As we all know, Mao is down and a city situated on the boundary of Manipur state, near a Nagaland state, and the placing of the port at this boundary of border town is of much necessity to provide easy access for justice to the people settled in Mao. Of course, uh, the traditional way of dispensing justice has always existed, but as we move, uh, you know, now it's the 21st century, as we move into the future, I think uh, the establishment of such a court is of utmost necessity. At the moment, state government has already established the jail, FC Mao, but due to non-availability of court building and quarter, jail FC Mao has been accommodated in some other place as arranged by the High Court of Manipur. Considering the exigency of the infrastructure needed, the state government has planned to construct court building and borders jointly since the last many years, as mentioned by the Honorable Emily. But the same could not be materialized due to non clearance of the land. The present land has been donated by Srimati Ashibu, a resident of Ravunamari village, on 16 5 2022. I mention her name because it's very important uh, that she be given due recognition and uh, also uh, I feel that duly compensated for such a you know, wonderful uh, donation of the land. And as Minister in charge of this department, I praise her dedication for development and improvement of the general justice delivery in the state, particularly for this area. I'm confident that the generous donor of the land will be fully compensated and that can be uh, discussed in detail later on. The present project consists of construction of JMFC building for JMFC Mao for a total cost of 4.53 crores and the cost of this court building alone is 1.64 crores and I'm told that the construction of the project will also be completed in the next three, four months. I won't take long. Uh, I would like to you know, shorten my speech so that, uh, because already we are running short of time, I hope that the inauguration of the JNFC Court Building at Mao will be able to deliver justice expeditiously and in a timely manner to the public of the area. And on behalf of the Honorable Chief Minister of Manipur, Sri N. Biren Singh, I thank the Honorable Chief Justice of the High Court of Manipur and all the Honorable Judges uh, as well as the Honorable Emily Shri Dikho for attending this inauguration uh, in person and uh, once again I pay my respects to all of you. Thank you. Tavichari Bhunde.
because the court has been constructed very nicely and as our honourable sir, local MLA also has highlighted. So, not you now, I give it the time to you, you may kindly take over. Chitu Kazi Sahedove, greetings on this most wonderful day in Mao. As we arrived, the heavens opened up and blessed us with rain and thunder, which is a which is a sure blessing. Uh, the my friend, the Honourable Law Minister D. H. Basant Kumar Singh, who is here with us in spirit and in support, uh, my esteemed brothers and sisters on the bench, Justice A. Vimal Singh, Justice A. Guneshwar Sharma, uh, Mrs. Uh, Golmai Gajwad Shidu Kabui, the Honourable MLA of Mao Assembly Constituency, uh, Mr. Diko, who spoke so eloquently about the local culture and how they have opened up their arms to receive the, the judiciary. Uh, before I forget, uh, the president of the District Bar Association, Mr. Adani Ma, who I thought would come and uh, thank me for the effort that has been put in by the by the High Court and the Commissioner Law in uh, erecting this structure within uh, a record period of time in the hills, uh, which is anything but an easy task. But I uh, I see that uh, he is not completely pleased, and uh, his other demands will have to be met with, with the alacrity. And we promise you that we will do it. Uh, Sri Yojesh Kutum, the Registrar General of the High Court of Manipur. Uh, the Mr. Ramkola Kitchen, the District Judge of uh, Senapati District. The ABC Senapati, Mr. Laisan. The P.P. Senapati District, Koshia Mao, the Superintendent of Police, uh, Senapati District, Ms. Anupam, who I see is here despite a terrible cold. And uh, last but not the least, uh, uh, Ms. Athia, the generous landowner who has donated her land for such a noble purpose. Thank you so much. And as the law minister said before me that uh, no compensation would be adequate for the gift of love that she has given us, but I must inform you that uh, the High Court of Manipur has uh, decided to employ her son as the Chokida for this court complex for which we would be handing over the appointment letter uh, during the course of this ceremony. Uh, but as I said earlier, that is not adequate compensation. We will make sure that he gets a regular position in the, in the judicial uh, system. And we also expect that the government will compensate her in, in, other manner, in another manner as well. Uh, Today, uh, as we gather here, it's a truly historic moment. Not just for Ma, but for the entire state of Manipur. We stand at the threshold of a new chapter in the administration of justice in this remote but beautiful region. As we inaugurate the JMFC court building at Ma. This uh, exhilarating moment encapsulates the collective testament to the vision, the hard work and the unstinted determination of all those who have worked tirelessly 
to make this happen. And I thank all of them at the outset. The inauguration of this court building represents the fulfillment of a long-held aspiration of the people of this area. Since the inception, the administration of Senapati District Judiciary was con concentrated in the Senapati area, where the court of CJM Senapati was first established, and then later on the court of District and Sessions Judge Senapati was also established, albeit for administrative convenience. The lone JMFC court was also located in the Kampukpi area. It was therefore clearly felt that the Mao region long deserved a fully functional, well-equipped and permanent judicial facility, one that would serve the legal needs of the people but also inspire confidence in the administration of justice. I am proud to say that this vision has now become a reality. The journey of this monumental project, aptly named construction of single court building and type 5 quarter at Mao, started only on the 12th of October 2023. And in little over a year, the court building has been fast-tracked and completed on the 2nd of November 2024. From geographical hurdles to logistical constraints, as well as the law and order situation, this project was not without its difficulties. But through all of this, we have remained steadfast and successfully brought the vision to fruition. And today, we stand before a magnificent court building, an edifice that stands as a symbol of resilience, commitment, and unwavering faith in the rule of law. I am pleased to announce that the construction of the court building is complete with a plinth area of 287.55 square meters, which translates to 3095 square feet. The accompanying judicial quarters, comprising two Type 5 residential units, are also nearing completion, and I am informed by the Commissioner Law that she will spare no effort to ensure that it is done in the next month and a half. The ground floor and first floor of these quarters each encompass an area of 175.93 square meters, that is 1884 square feet. The overall plot area for this project is approximately 1404 0.23 square meters, that is 15,112 square feet. This project includes, as you will see, essential infrastructure such as an underground sump with a 20,000 liter capacity, internal roads, leveling, a retaining wall, and gate and fencing. We owe an immense debt of gratitude to the Law and Legislative Affairs Department and the engineering cell of the Health and Family Welfare Ministry, Manipur, for their meticulous planning and execution. Special thanks are due to the contractor, Messrs. G. Karinja, R. Naga and Sons for their commitment to this project. My credo has always been that court buildings are not just physical structure and that through its hallowed walls of concrete and mortar they exemplify a beacon of hope and justice for the people of the region and beyond. Furthermore, this building is equipped with state-of-the-art facilities including video conferencing technology that enables hybrid hearings ensuring that justice is accessible to all regardless of distance or circumstance. The new building offers ample space for not just the judiciary and the office, office staff, but the legal professionals and most importantly, the litigants who are the seekers of justice. I am also extremely delighted to know that this building will be differently able 
with all necessary infrastructure, including tactile flooring, which is in the pipeline. However, the true success of this project will not be measured solely by the strength of its walls or the modernity of its facilities. It will be judged by the impact it will have on the lives of the people it is envisaged to serve. The work that takes place within this court, deciding disputes, upholding rights and delivering justice is what truly defines its worth. I urge the legal community, the bar and the bench to come together in the spirit of service to uphold the dignity of this institution and to work tirelessly towards ensuring that justice is not just a concept but a reality for everyone who seeks it. I would be failing in my duty if I would not express my deepest gratitude for the contributions made by some worthy individuals. First of all, I must thank Sri N. Baran Singh Ji, the Honorable Chief Minister of Manipur and the entire team from the Law Ministry, including the Commissioner Law, who have wholeheartedly supported and worked tirelessly to make this initiative come true. I also thank the Honorable Minister for Law and Legislative Affairs and the local MLA, who are fortunately both present on the occasion, as well as the implementing agencies who have worked day and night to bring this project to fruition. Today, as we celebrate this significant achievement, it is crucial to acknowledge the generosity and community spirit of Srimati Chifuko Atya, who, as I said earlier, has graciously gifted the land for this project. As we inaugurate this core building, we give to the people of Mao and the broader Senapati district a robust legal infrastructure that will serve their judicial needs for generations to come. This court will stand as a bastion of justice, ensuring that every individual's right to fair and impartial adjudication is facilitated and protected. Finally, I offer my deepest appreciation to the members of the district judiciary, the lawyers, and all other stakeholders who have contributed in urging us to complete this project on an early date. We are grateful to you for your support and for your constant energy. Uh, your hard work and dedication are a source of great pride and I am confident that this institution will continue to rise to meet the needs of the people with professionalism, integrity and compassion. As we inaugurate this building today, let us rededicate ourselves to the cause of justice. Let this building be a symbol not only of our past achievements, but of our future potential. One where justice, fairness and the rule of law guide our collective wisdom forward into that pure stream of ever widening thought and action. I wish all of you and all those who seek justice here success and fulfillment in their endeavors. May this court be a place where truth and justice shine brightly for all to see. Thank you and Jai. May I also take this opportunity to present the letter of appointment dated the 5th of November 2024, appointing Mr. Dayo Adhiko as Chokida at the court of JMFC Civil Judge Junior Division at Mao. Thank you and God bless you all once again. Thank you, Lordship, for the wonderful speech. And Lordship has truly shown that there is justice for all and then uh, equal justice. Since the landowner has been uh, really 
they were really troubled because of some issues. But today, they have been given justice in front of all the audience, or in front of all the local people and the judiciary, along with the local MLA. So, Lordship, uh, we on behalf, I on behalf of the Senapati District Bar Association, also want to acknowledge uh, your presence and the presence of all our honourable judges, uh, our local MLA and our uh, minister who has uh, been with us on BC and the judicial officers in the High Court, uh, our Madam Commissioner and all other officers who are here today in spite of all the busy schedule. So now I want to thank you and now as we have come to the end of this program, I will give the vote of thanks to our uh, Sir Sri Ojas Mutum, Registrar General, High Court of Manipur. Honourable Mr. Justice Siddharth Mridhi, Chief Justice Aikon of Manipur, Honourable Sri T.S. Prasadji Kumar Singh, Minister of Law, Elizabeth Affairs, Manipur, Esteemed Honourable Justice of the High Court of Manipur, Mr. Justice E. V. Mohan Singh, Mr. Justice E. Vinesh Sharma, and Mrs. Justice Bobby Mekhusun Kabui, Honourable Sri Rossi Deko, MLA of Mount Assembly Constituency, Srimati Nishitomi Thorpon, Commissioner Lok, Lord of Manipur, Sri Lamkola Kibzin, Lord of the Student Sessions, Senapati, Edison Deputy Commissioner, SP Senapati, Distinguished Registry Officers of the High Court, ST members of the Bar and Lens, the wonderful people of Mao, dedicated engineers and officers of Health and Family Welfare Department, government officers, Staff of the District Court, Senabati, members of the media, security person, police, and paramilitary forces, ladies and gentlemen. It is my distinct honor to stand before you today to express my heartfelt gratitude on this momentous occasion of the inauguration of the Court of ZFC Mount. Today marks the culmination of a vision that began on 12th of October 2023 with the project of constructing the ZFC Court at Mount. Through the combined effort and resolute dedication of so many, we now celebrate the completion of the court building on the, 20, on the 2nd of November 2024 with residential quarters soon to follow. I, the success of this project, funded through central and state contributions, would not have been possible without the generous donation of the land by Srimati Sirpoko Atia. For this, we extend our deepest appreciation and thankfulness for our noble act at our city. I also take this opportunity to profoundly thank Honorable Chief Justice for leading the innovation to be grace and vision, and Honorable Minister of Law and Institute of Affairs for his esteemed presence and continued support of judicial infrastructure. My sincere thanks also go to the Honorable Justice of the High Court for their encouragement and oversight. To the state government and the law department, your commitment and guidance are pivotal to seeing this project true. To the implementing agency of the Health and Family Welfare Department, I extend our gratitude for your diligence and skillful work in completing the construction ahead of time. A special thanks is accorded to the CPC Manipur for the invaluable technical expertise in equipping the support with the state of art technology including video conferencing facilities for hybrid hearings and ensuring that a building remains accessible and inclusive for all. I would also like to highlight that the District Judiciary of Senapati has provided tremendous support and supervision throughout this project. The engagement has ensured that each milestone was achieved with precision and integrity. I extend my warm thanks to members of the Bar and Bands for the steadfast support and partnership in making this vision a reality. To the media personnel present here, I extend my thankfulness for your coverage and for helping share the significant development with the wider community. Your work is vital in connecting the judicialist effort with the people it serves. Again, our heartfelt thanks goes to our security person, including the police and paramilitary forces. They deserve commendation for their thorough arrangements and for maintaining a safe and secure environment throughout this event. My heartfelt appreciation also goes to the district administration 
for effective logistic planning and the seamless coordination of this inaugural event. The Department of Information Technology, your technical arrangements have ensured that this event can be shared far and wide, traversal connections, broadening its risk and impact. To the Secretary and Director of Transport Department, deserves a gratitude for arranging the helicopter transportation that enabled the victories to join the celebration to ease and timeliness. Lastly, but most importantly, to the residents of Mao, I extend our deepest appreciation for your unflinching love, support and cooperation. I would like to acknowledge the dedication to this project as it has played a crucial role in transforming the vision of judicial administration in this region into a tangible reality. Finally, I would be remiss not to acknowledge all the unsung heroes behind the scenes whose tireless efforts, whether big or small, contribute to the success of this event. Your hard work does not go unnoticed, and we are deeply grateful. Thank you all for your presence, your contributions, and for making today a resounding success. Let this new beginning herald more avenues for justice, growth, and unity in the region. Thank you. Thank you, Sir Ojas Matu, Registrar General High Court of Madhya Pradesh, for the vote of thanks. Now we have come to the end of this program. After this, we'll be having refreshment, and then, uh, if time permits, then uh, honourable uh, judges may kindly go for an inspection. And after that, we will proceed to the police uh, Mount Guest House for lunch. Thank you. That's for all. And then I want to thank each and every one of us for making this program a grand success. Thank you all.